Welcome to DXB Today. Tonight we're talking EdTech, we're talking hackathons, the movers, the shakers, the innovators, the creators. <laughs> it's all happening on DXB Today tonight. So let's find out what else is happening on the show. We have got art on the mind. Ahmed went down to Canvas Art Studios for an immersive art experience. And I also head down to the largest philanthropic initiative in the region, Arab Hope Makers, recognizing the champions of giving. And we've got AI experts and young innovators driving the tech forces in the studio. Also emerging vocalist, I'd say fabulous vocalist, Dina Stars joining us for a performance to close out the evening. Guys. I feel like we're going to be embarrassed today. Some very <laughs> young, bright minds coming into the studio who know a lot more. Slightly. And I suspect we're going to do a better job than we will on the couch today. So preparing all of our audiences. Uh, but you know what, guys? Were you were you kind of nerdy in school? Were you good at school? I, I, I was. Like, I tried to be. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> we all tried to be. <laughs> like, it was, it was a thing. Like, in high school, I did, like, do engineering for some time. And then even when I went to uh, university and I skipped calculus and all of that. But then I was like, you know, it's not something that I want to do. I wanted to switch to media. So I took theater. I did filmmaking. And now I'm here with you guys on the show. And I didn't even need a degree. I just wanted <laughs> to be on TV. <laughs> what about you, Lane? I'm, I, well, I, I studied business and finance, actually. Um, so it was something that um, I was passionate about and I wanted to know about, but then I just gravitated towards the performing arts and, and, and the, 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 the troublemakers. Yeah. And, and I just moved and shaked with everyone, which, yeah. which just blended who I am today. So, uh, yeah. Well, I can see we're all the creative types. I did very, very well in school. And then when I came to apply for university, I was like, I actually want to go to art school. Oh, so, nice. You know, change up. Well, <laughs> we've got two very, very bright minds who are joining us today. Two of them, and they're very young and adorable, and I can't wait for you to meet them. Let's find out who they are. Hello, my name is Adi Jain. Hi, my name is Maha Nawaz. And we are co-founders of the Innovate Hackathon. We can't wait to see you on the show. Adi and Maha will join us in a little bit, but first, we're diving into art as I went down to Canvas Studios to check out their immersive experience done by Crystal. Let's check it out. A symphony of shadows and light, an exhibition with groundbreaking collaborations curated for this year's art scene in Dubai. The artists promise that this will redefine the art scene in the region. I wanted to ask you about Canvas Studios. Why do you think it's important to have a place like this right here in Dubai? Well, two years when we founded Canvas, we knew that we wanted to create something very unique, special, but we were not aware that there is a big demand on, on immersive art as it is today, for example, in the case of Canvas. And that's very much in line with our mission that we want to bring um, art closer to everyday people and immersive technologies would definitely help that. Can you also tell us about, the? because it's a very distinct use of colors, like you said, there's monochromatic and then you have the blend of all the different colors as well. So can you just tell us more about that? So yes, because I'm a visual artist who works with both digital and traditional paintings, I wanted to blend the two mediums into one form of art. And this is how I came about creating this simple black and white for the main subject while highlighting one part of the uh, painting with all the patterns and colors that are maybe drawn and painted in different kind of styles. And like this, I merged all my artistic fondness into one medium. I wanted to ask you, uh, from your perspective, do you see the future of galleries maybe adopting immersive experiences or do you think they're gonna be stuck to the same <laughs> old fashioned um, gallery feel? Well, I think that there is definitely an opportunity here. You know, I believe that art is an endless source for new experiences. And uh, what we have done here, actually, in this collaborative effort is wonderful because it's an immersive experience, right, that connects with the viewer with different senses. Um, so that leaves a lasting memory. And uh, you know how art can be quite intimidating, right? The way it is displayed on those white walls and high ceilings and bodyguards everywhere. <laughs> so here, I think that it connects to like a wider audience and it makes makes art more accessible, more inclusive. So I do believe that there is an opportunity for galleries to explore here. A symphony of shadows and light, a breathtaking 
exhibition, as you can see, which blends together art, technology, and creativity. If you're looking for a hidden gem, make sure you come to Canvas Studios at Al Khayat Avenues in Al Quds. And did I mention the event is free from 10 to 6? Come over here. That was pretty cool. Now, our co host for today are next generation innovators transforming the space and coding and AI student innovators with the region's first ever national AI hackathons. Please welcome to the show, the founders of Innovate Hackathon, Adi Jane and Maha Nawaz. So good to see you guys. So I think yeah. the first question on everyone's lips are hackathon. What is a hackathon? <laughs> Adi. So basically a hackathon is just a coding competition. It's a fancy word for that. So it's a coding competition where you're given a general prompt and then you're required to develop a project for that prompt over the next course of few days. And you just submit the project, you get ranked, and the best projects win. Wonderful. So who's, uh, whose idea was it out of the both of you to, to come up with this wonderful event? All credit goes to Addy. <laughs> He's the one who came up with the idea. He pitched it to me and I was like, I'm all aboard. So yeah. So Maha, how does Innovate work? Tell us how it, for, it starts today, first of all, to everyone. Their first it one does. ever, and it kicks off today. Very excited for you guys. Nice. Tell yeah. us all about it. So yeah, it starts today. Today, we're going to be doing um, a webinar of sorts, where we're going to teach them how to use AI tools. Because right now, students have this barrier. They think that AI, machine learning, is a black box. And we want to show that you don't need to know complex mathematics or have a PhD in machine learning. You just need to have some resourcefulness and learn how to use stuff that's already on the internet. And that's what we want to teach them how to do. And what happens for, what happens next? Of course. There, there's a challenge here, There right? is, yes. So after the webinar, after the tutorials, they will, we're going to reveal a prompt to them. Now they have to create an AI solution based off that prompt. So they have a day and a half roughly, and then they come into DIFC Innovation Hub. There we have a panel of judges and the best solutions and also the best presentations will be provided cash prizes worth more than 10,000 dirhams. Whoa! What? So good. Well done. <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> so we all wish we paid more attention in school. Where were you guys when I was growing up? <laughs> I wanted to ask as well, what are some of the challenges that you guys have faced what, uh, organizing this event, an event like this? So I think one of the main challenges was really working with the approval policies of our sponsors. So we have a few sponsors allowing this event to happen. Mm -hmm. But then when we wanted to get our press release released and all these things, they just had lots of approval policies in place. So it just took forever, you know? Yeah. So that was the biggest challenge by far. Yeah. So, hold on. So, so this is an annual event, right? First of its kind. Yes. So who is going to continue this annual event? Because both of you are, are quite young. You're going to be going to college. You're going to go and have further education. So how's it going to work? Yeah, so our plan is we want to create a foundation for the next successors to take over. So right now we've started the hackathon up, but next year we have a wait list of over 50 teams. So yeah, it's quite popular and we've found a market gap in the UAE. So we know that there are many students who are willing to take over willing to lead, willing to start the hackathon up again, and there's demand to participate in it as well. So yeah, someone else will take over and we'll work in close proximity with them for the first few years, but we're excited to see where it goes. Oh, that's incredible. So, yeah, what are their ages? What are some of the schools that are participating? So, um, so in fact, we have over 40 schools participating from over 40 nationalities. Our you guys are so impressive. Know, right? <laughs> really so impressive. Sorry, continue. <laughs> So um, this hackathon is geared towards high school students because younger years may not know how to use the programming tools required. But yeah, so we have schools from all over the UAE participating. It's going to be smashing success. Hopefully. Yeah, what's, what's the big goal? What, are, what, what, what is your big hope this year? This year, we just want students to learn. We want them to be resourceful. We want them to implement an AI solution that helps the sector that we'll reveal today. Guys and, are and where can people find you? Like, for example, if someone wants to search online, where can people find you on that? Uh huh. Instagram. So our name, so you can search us up on Google or on Instagram or on LinkedIn. Yeah. So we are at the website uae 
innovate.com, but the innovate is spelled differently. Oh, yeah. So it's innovate, A I T E. Okay. So please do. So ue innovate.com. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's, that's innovative. See, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. Well, stay right here because, well, you're going to be our guest co host today, which is yes. really exciting. Awesome. Now, after this, we find out all about the ever-evolving education landscape through technology with the team of PowerSchool. Plus, we're chatting with the founder of Bedrock Program up next.